everybody, my name is Mystery King Nano8 and welcome back to Watch Dogs 1 Episode 2. So today I kinda wanted to do some more story missions, but then I thought, you know what? I might do that on my own time, depending on what you guys want. So leave it down in the comments. Do you want me to do story missions as a series on this game? Or do you want me to do, you know, mess around videos in this game? Because this game is really fun to play on, for definite. Because I've played this game so many times, but not for quite a while. So I'm going to continue. But in today's video, I kind of want to check out the... The, um... I can't remember what it's called now. Because I haven't done those missions in a long time. Alone. Right, let's start this. So, you'll see everything go weird. Woo. Oh. So, yes. Uh, the was hidden and through the city. Find them. Yes. So, I recently told my brother about this. And he was like, wow. So, yeah. he, My brother's checked this out as well. I think. But yeah, uh, I have to get to that little podium thing over there. I have no weapons on me, as you can see. So uh, it is all, well, I can run around because this is the first level, so it's not that tricky. I say that, but yeah. So you basically have to take these guys down, and you'll see in the top left, that's my score, 250. So yeah, and this outfit, it says alone on the top right, if this bloody thing would go away. But yeah, it says alone right there. This is the outfit that I wear in the Xbox One version because I've already completed this game. The max percentage. Uh, you know, it's good. Like I don't need to get him. If he's not in my way, then I don't need to take them down. But this gets way trickier. I must add, it gets way trickier. Like super tricky. Oh, hello. So the line of sight is broken. If there's an object involved, uh, I can't pan around here. Cool. Right. Take him out very quickly. It wasn't in my way, but. You get points. The points don't mean anything. These things right in front of me mean a lot. Oh god, it takes forever to hack. There you go, that eliminates them all in one area. And then it becomes uh, morning or brighter than what it is. Stealth take down three, uh, fight take down zero, and. Cuns. What? Confiscated weapons zero. But my new record is 1,250. One district freed. One skill point, so let's press square and go to the skill tree. So this is what you have. Hacking is the best thing. Uh, quickly do that, or from a longer signal. Mm, this is from a long distance, or quicker. Long distance, quicker, long distance. I say quicker. Really, you don't need any other thing apart from equipment, so body armor, basically. Which I think, yeah, that's body armor on equipment and hacking. EMP, not really needed, but the EMP, the AMP? EMP gun, which is this. One hit from the gun will temporarily disable a robot, which means their line of sight will be broken for quite a while. But now, guess what I can do? I can get into a car now. As long as it's night, as long as it's night, I can, oh, as long as it's night, I can't go in a vehicle, but this little force field, uh, right, for example, this car automatically shuts down and I can't move, but when I'm outside, it'll go brighter, because in there it goes dark, only in night time, the car will stop working, but in the bright time, or morning or whatever, the cars are active and they spawn literally everywhere, so there's nothing wrong with that. But if you see, there's two arrows on my screen, or three now, four being me, and then the three being the robots. But yeah, there's a lot in this game that I need to explain, but hopefully you guys have... Oh, no, it's circle isn't it to thingy. I was playing Watch Dogs 2 earlier on the Xbox One version. So uh yeah. There we go. Got my first gun. It's not that good, but it's an AK forty seven. Now noise is a thing in this, so let's say oh if I were to fire in this area Oh 
it's that one in it. Come on. Oh, they're so creepy. See, they can't come into the area that I'm in, which is nice, so I can literally stay here all day. Uh, but as soon as I go into that area, I will then take damage. But it takes quite a while because these are uh, new. But yeah, I can headshot them. But the phase meter thing is weird, so you can't actually see where the head is unless you go here. See, it takes a lot of shots. This thing is also another thing. So if you've played Sniper Elite 4, you'll know that the ghost thing will be where they last saw you. So this is where they last saw me. And if I move and make noise, it will then be here. And that will disappear. Pretty simple. And then they'll go to there. But they can't go through here because they'll automatically shut down and die. So, yeah, they look creepy. Yeah, I don't really care about these types of guns because they're not good. The EMP gun I should have got, but hacking is way more important. However, there is another briefcase down here, so I'll get that with no problem. We'll don't turn this way. Alright, we're good, we're good. These go up way faster as well. So nice, got the gun back, and I got some more ammo. I'm being spotted. Oh, that was bad. Why did my camera just turn around then? Well, I'm dead, for definite. Unless I can move. Okay, vault. Jesus Christ, Aiden, you're so bad. Okay, so... Oh my god, vault! What is wrong with you? Oh, no ammo. Well, I'm dead. Unless I get to that thing all the way down there quick enough before they kill me. But these are way faster than me. Unless I do that. And now I need to sneakily move away without being spotted, which I... I'm in the clear. Ooh, okay. So yeah, they can only see me if I'm in their light. If that wasn't clear already. So it makes it difficult. I have no ammo, obviously. Okay, he's coming down here, so I'm gonna go around here. So basically, this is about stealth. Uh, so I can go next to him like this, and he won't see me. He almost saw me then. Don't know why. That shouldn't have happened. But yeah, you hear that bzzz, that beeping noise? That's this thing over here. The thing that I need to get. So I can now hack it from here. Quickly. Nice. Okay, so that is the second one. I'm going to go back to my skill tree and try again. So we can feel free to pause it and have a look what I got there, but... I don't really care about that because I care about getting the EMP good, which is the best thing to get, in my opinion. Continue, and we're back. Now, I have this. This is infinite ammo, but only with the EMP ammo. So, this is quiet as well. This is, like, suppressed. It's super suppressed. Every time I kill one of the robots, I'll get an EMP back, depending on how I took them down. I don't know I'm trying to run when there's a car here. Car? Car. Okay, so if I check my map, this is all the districts that I need to actually free. The hardest ones are these three here that I left before on the Xbox One version. They're super difficult, but the rest are relatively simple. The further you go, so like now, I might see newer robots, so they'll get trickier and their aim will get... I don't quite know. Um, oh, stop. Okay. So this is just outside of my barrier now. So yeah, no new robots just yet, but they will have a yellow coat. It will disable them and I can run to them and they won't see me for a couple of seconds. And then I can take them down if need be. This guy's got me, so... I'm going to quickly reload and run back in here. Here's where I'll regenerate health as well. So the red markers around my map or screen disappeared. These two are a bit of a problem, so I'm just going to run over here, and they're stupid enough to follow. So then they'll die. I'm a pro at this, so I know everything. Not everything, but enough to get me by. Okay, you can't see me. How did you... Okay. I'm not going to kill them unless I need to, so now I can run because I'm just outside of their noise compensator thing. So that thing has noise on it as well. Okay, he's going to get me if I get that guy. 
Alleys are the worst place to go, but for this instance, I'm only going it here because there is a bag on my map right there. Oh. Did he see me? Almost. Am I good? I think I'm good. I'll quickly get this. Alright, got another AK-47. Yeah, so when you reboot them, or when they reboot themselves, when you EMP them... Yeah, see, I get a bullet back every time, which is so handy. I love this game mode so much. I like how they've put this in the first one, but I don't know why they haven't put it in the second Watch Dogs. Um, but yeah. So that guy, I didn't get, so he'll be marked. Same as this guy now, because I'm aiming at him. So now they both have a marker on. However, oh, what? I can't move. Okay. Well, the game's killed me there, and I'm dead. So yeah, that's what happens when you get ray gunned or x rayed or whatever. I think it's a phaser or something. I don't know what it is, but that's basically the gist of this game. Stay outside, free all the districts, and once you complete this game mode, you will get this outfit. I like it because it's black and red on the inside. Black on the outside, red on the inside, and it says alone on the back. Again, restore all generators to light the city is still the thing. But yeah, it says alone on the back, if you didn't see before, but yeah. So now I have two weapons, the AK-47, which has 30 ammo, and 15 ammo for my pistol, which is a Desert Eagle pistol, I believe. Yes, yeah, Desert Eagle. Okay, this is the nearest district, right over here, so I'm going to go for that one there. Again, just outside my barrier, so I need to be careful when approaching. Already. Okay. Sometimes you can run back into your safe zone and then they'll respawn, but only when they run into that barrier and kill themselves. Then you get a second chance to, I don't know, replan your decision, basically. So you see how far it is, right? It is relatively far. I have to look at the arrows and look at my guy all at the same time. Just think. Oh, here's a new robot, guys. Oh, break the line of sight. Are we good? So here's his. This is a new robot. They will regenerate way quicker, as you saw, and they have a yellow coat. I, that doesn't mean anything, but they're a new breed of robot. If robots are breeds, I don't know. This is CTOS. Okay, you can't see me until I do this. How did you see... Okay, the game can be annoying like that. Okay, they're going to sprint in. I feel like I'm dead. Yeah, that's... Okay. Right, I have no choice, guys. I'm going to have to... Got it. Yeah. Best thing to do when you get caught, EMP them and run. Get out of the way. Just go. Otherwise, you will be cornered by multiple robots. And obviously... Oh, I hear it. Oh, it's only over there. I've got this. Don't worry. The aim on this game is very annoying. It's better with your... Pi okay. Can I know it? Okay, quickly, quickly. We got this. Nice. Okay, that's our third one, guys. And there's like a billion more to go. So... I will have this outfit pretty soon, I guess. I don't know. I will check out other game modes, but today I'm just going to focus on this for about an hour or two. I don't know. Warfare. Uh, weapon mastery. Increase the damage you deal with all lethal weapons by 50% and then 100%. So it'll be like, uh, I don't know, three bullets kill, basically, which are good. So you get EMP... Um, things like this, so if I press left on the... is it still called a D-pad for PS4? I presume it's still called a D-pad. If you press left on that button, you will EMP your surrounding area and increase and increase and increase. So these just increase the voltage and the width or diameter or whatever of the explosion of the EMP. Then you'll get uh, EMP grenades which you throw and then obviously hack and then EMP. 
and then the distance of them as well, which is practically the same thing for EMP. Then you have equipment, which is uh, the backpack allows you to carry more, increasing your survival odds. So I'm going to get that because that's useful. Then you get body armor. Uh, so yeah, radiation shield, rare protection against radiation. So yeah, they fire radiation at you. Forgot to mention that. So that's the first one, and that's the second one. So that's 50% and 100%. Uh, and then actually you still get hacking so there's a lot in this game mode even though this isn't like the full game this is literally just one game mode um, but yeah this game mode is really really fun to play this is by far my favorite one because there's so much in it there's uh, it's incredible the first time I played this okay yeah the first time I played the game mode I did this ran straight into an area and died instantly I was like why? I thought I was playing it correctly. I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah. So that was me back then. Now I just take my time and I go around them. As long as they don't cause me hassle or see me, like that guy almost did, these guys always take out. No matter where they are, take them out. Because they can detect you from a billion miles away. Sometimes. They can get so annoying at times, and they catch you off guard. So, be sure to take those guys out. So, these guys that are like, I don't know, bigger robots, whereas the skinnier robots are faster, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, there's a skinny robot and a big robot. So, I'm going to leave the big one, but I'm going to go for the skinny robot. Because they're way faster, and they deal more damage for radiation-wise. Uh, okay, I'm not going to be good if I go around that corner. Oh, almost. So yeah, I like the takedowns, but I wish Watch Dogs 2 had this in. You can uh, get custom coin runs in this game, and also in Watch Dogs 2. But you don't get these small game modes, which is so annoying, because I'm a big fan of these game modes that they put in. There it is, right over there. Just got to be very careful. Oh, you turn around, but you can't see me, because look, I'm in their line of sight, but I'm not in their line of sight, if that makes any sense. I'm not in that blue dot thing, so they can't necessarily straight away see me. Well, this could be a tight squeeze. Nice. Could take down this guy behind me, I've got to be careful. Connect from here, so I'm going to be careful and hide. There we go. This game mode is so fun, guys. I recommend Watch Dogs 1 and 2 a hundred percent. A billion times recommendation. They're, they're such good games. I love them. Okay, way faster this time. Alright, let's carry on. I could legitimately complete this game mode in one run-through with just an hour. Because I'm so good. But there's been times where this has taken me a week on the Xbox One version to complete because it takes so long but I'm not going to be able to complete it in this episode if that's what you guys are thinking it's not going to happen this is going to be a couple of episodes tops I say possibly five episodes just on alone the uh, game mode which is called alone this because it is a big game mode I will check out the other three so Spider Tank and this are the best game modes in my opinion. They're so fun. Uh, basically, Spider Tank, you play as a big ass spider and roam around the city and destroy loads of cars, police cars, helicopters, and basically, you're a tank, so you shoot turrets. Not webs, but turrets. You can go upside down on bridges, climb buildings, very tall buildings. Um, basically do everything the game mode is literally amazing then the well actually there's three that are really good and then the last one which is a zombie one where all you do is drive around in a car and run over zombies it's not that fun because the skill points aren't that worth it you unlock that car I do believe but it's not that good compared to all the performance cars that you get in this game like there's one that looks like the Z type from GTA 5 that one is really cool it's a lot of money it's like 2 million on this I think is that or is that 1.2 million I don't know 
At the minute, I have no money because this is just a little game mode. But in the actual story, oh, right, quickly. Otherwise, I'm going to be cornered. Do that. Oh, I'm in the line of someone's sight. Oh, it's one of those ones. Yep. They have a wider area, if you guys didn't know that already. Oh my god, what is this? It's going to be difficult, oh my god. Luckily they don't hear sound, but they can hear you if... Is he around? Yeah, he's around there. Do. Okay. They're infinite as well, these robots, so you cannot take them all out and then go for every uh, uh, beacon, if you will. You can't kill all the robots and then go for the beacon because they will infinitely respawn like so. And you'll get no chance unless you do it properly, I guess. And the only proper way is stealth in this game. Stealth and try not to get caught. Oh, not now, not now, not now. Oh, I've been inspired. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. Come on, make it, make it, make it. Yes! Okay, guys, so you get those types of things where you kind of have to go, am I going to make it if I run? And you don't know until you run. So, if you're in a situation like that and you're super close to the thing, run to it would be my uh, thing. So hacking is the first thing you want to go up because that'll increase everything of hacking and hacking is the only thing that's going to get those things done and completed for you to get another skill point to get more hacking achievements and abilities or skill points if you will. So my advice go for hacking first leave everything else to last uh, but always get the EMP gun first as well because it will double your chances of surviving and the backpack so now I have a new gun which is the Vector the 45 ACP is it? 45 oh CP ACP yeah 45 ACP cool so yeah I'm gonna go for the nearest one which is 200 meters away that's quite far if you think about it and I'm not running either I have to walk so if I run I will draw attention to myself and cause noise which will then increase the chances of death so stealth is the only way to go around this and I need to get some more takedowns because I'm running low on ammo as you can tell I'm dead I'm so dead oh god oh yeah so the rarity of getting a bullet is super rare sometimes uh, all the takedowns may not give you a bullet but some do and this is from your third uh, beacon that you complete so now I'm getting a bullet every time because I've increased chances somehow but yeah it's right over there oh don't go to the left don't go to the left oh dear am I going to make that oh god the field of view is so wide oh for both of them as well right it should be good yep I'm good you might see me but they don't deal as much damage as the other people so I'm not too worried about them nice and they all just dissolve and disappear so now it gives me another chance to get another skill point I've done so much already it's pretty cool and that is the last of hacking so now my advice from hacking is to get equipment because that will be body armor and increase the chance of well you can deal more radiation and then die or without dying basically I don't know deal more damage and then die I guess it's the only way to describe it so now if I deal a little bit of radiation I'm practically dead straight away and my high score on this game is almost 300,000 points and at the minute I'm on 15,000 so I've done a lot of takedowns but takedowns don't do anything they give you skill points uh, for when you take a beacon but the points do nothing so I don't know someone will know what they're for but I don't maybe it's just to say oh look this is your highest point on this game mode I guess I don't know same with spider tank it gives you skill points for doing amount of damage to something 
uh, similar to the beacons, but then you get points to the right, which is 15,000 for me, but something on a different level, if that makes any sense. So, there's multiple things in these game modes. But I'm just going to continue. Okay. I think once I've completed this, you can restart the game, but keep your outfit. So the outfit that I'm wearing now, obviously I don't have in the main game, because I haven't completed all of it yet. But you will get it again, even if you press new game. So I think I'll do a sudden death. So a permadeath, I think that's what they're called. Not sudden death, permadeath. So if you die uh, at all during this, you will just quit. It will make sense, because I've already done it, so it doesn't matter. But... I don't want to do it now because I actually want this outfit. This is the best outfit in the game. By far. Watch Dogs 2 you can get Aiden Pierce's outfit which is this one but not the plain black one. The original one that I was wearing before. But I'm not too sure. Where are you going? You're going left. You're going... Okay. The, all three of them are going forwards. Okay. Someone's spawned behind me. Okay, 11 ammo. I'm getting there. 15 is max, but I think I can upgrade it and get to 30. That should be nice. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, dear. How did I miss? That could have went wrong. Oh, and someone spawned over there. This is one of those moments where you just gotta go for it. Okay, cool. Survived. Oh, it was one of those coated ones over there, if you can tell. Damn. 19,000 already. The points rack up super quickly. Uh, once you've completed every district, uh, that's when you'll get every single skill point. But it doesn't make sense. But I th you don't keep them, which is annoying. You only keep your outfit, but not all your skill points. Uh, or objectives. Uh, no, it was equipment, wasn't it? That one. Alright, cool. So now I can deal more damage to these guys. So these guys, when I get to 100% on my body armor, will be as much damage as these guys, which are super bad. Uh, wait, what? There's a thing on top of that building? I'm not going to be able to get up there. Yeah, so this game is really cool. I love it to bits, but there's so much. There's literally so much. Uh, 200 and... Okay. Oh! Okay, I'm just in the area now. My car will not work now. Good gun out. Oh, hello. I mm, think I've got a bad start for... Look how many. Yeah, the more districts you do, the more robots will spawn each time you get into one of these areas. So for now, it was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven robots on my map right there. Seven. Hopefully I haven't miscounted, but yes, there's seven there. And that'll increase by one every time you do a district. I haven't done seven districts yet, as far as I'm aware. So... Sometimes it will triple or quadruple, so you'll always find yourself in a very bad position with this game, or this level even. Nice little takedown there. Then give me a thing, which is weird. Oh, I hear it. Oh, hello. 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 What? I literally EMP'd you. The game can do that sometimes. It can really mess you up. Okay, just have all the MPs. Just run for it. Oh my god, this game is so scary sometimes. Especially when I first started playing the alone game mode, it was super scary. Now it's like, yeah, they're just robots, but it's annoying if you don't get that thing. I haven't died once. No, I have. I've died once already, but... Okay. 100% now, and this will increase the quantity by 100% of any ammo that I have and that requires one skill point some of them require two uh, which one requires I think it's one of the last ones that you get some of them require two districts to be done which is annoying but this one is the best thing to do the quantity because now I'll get 15 ammo for my EMP and what's that 
20 and 60. I think that's max ammo already because I got the thing. But yeah, I'll get 30 ammo for my EMP gun, which is pretty cool. Um, but only when I collect one of those packages, which is down there or on my map right there. So yeah. I'm not going to do that just yet because I'd like to get this area completed. Alright. Oh, brilliant. That's a lot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that didn't go up that time, but there's seven there. I'm not in his distance. Oh, I was. Okay. Okay. So now you just got to run in. Make sure they all die before you reset. Look how many there are. You can take down one uh, per three seconds. It's quite a lot, but in numbers and the damage, it will add up. So, two of the fat robots will be equivalent damage as one of those skinny robots there, which is an insane amount of damage. Hi. You're not going to. Oh, you are. I only have three ammo, I've got to be careful now. Yay. Fall back. Fall back, fall back, fall back, whatever. You're going to see me, aren't you? Oh, I hate this game mode sometimes. Look at this. This is insane. I'm dead because their reach is... Oh, my God. It's... It's so... Uh, not, I hit my mic then. It's so annoying. You died. Use a car to move faster during the day. Yeah, it's no good if, if I'm in the dark and in one of their areas, is it? That robot right there you never see during this, which is super weird. That robot right there, unless you do in a certain building, but the robot with the suit on, you never see, or I haven't ever seen, anyway. So, I'll have to look that up uh, to see if you actually see that robot, but I don't actually know. It's interesting that they'd put that there in the front cover, but not show it in the actual open map here. Alright. This... Oh my god, this is annoying. Parts of the map, such as this, because um, America's split into blocks in the city. So, let's say this could go this way, and the other side could go that way. So, it could block me off to this single lane... And then I'd have to head this straight in, like this, and then both sides would be full with them. If you understand what I mean. So, I can run freely, they'll see me, but they can't get me unless I go into the area, so I'm, I'll am i be okay. But as you can tell, it takes quite a while for them to notice you if you're quite far away. But yeah, he turned yellow on the map just then, and disappeared, which means he died. So I'm going to go down this alley here, which I hate doing because alleys are super annoying. They spawn in and, yeah, two on each side, which is insane. Oh my god. Could be worse though, but how could this be worse? Oh my god, I can't move. Oh my god, this game. Oh my god, this game. Oh my god. Really? I, okay, I've just lost it now. This game mode can be so annoying. Look how many robots there are. This is insane. It, and this is why it took me so long to do it on the Xbox One version. Error. So yeah. If they can't find you, they'll say error, and then they'll just go back to doing what they're doing. But they'll still be there, which is annoying, so they can still find you. Right, let's do this again, but... See, they automatically look at you in your direction, which is so annoying. I can't describe how annoying that is. You spawn in, hoping for a new start, and there's one looking at me already, two looking at me already, and three looking at me already. But then they turn in a different direction. So now I need to walk as slow as a snail behind them, and then take them down. How far is that? 187... no, 170 meters now. That's so far. Okay, that guy's going to come down there. So you can use these little bits to your advantage, and then that guy will go down here, but then you can take him out here. Okay, cool. 
So after 15, you don't get any more bullets. Uh, or 10. Right now, which is quite annoying, until you get this. But it doesn't happen sometimes. Oh, God. It's that Why there? It's like they've got me on every single corner that I go on. And here. So now I'm forced to go into the center, where they're going to be more vigilant. What the Christ was that? Where did you come from? You spawned in, you bugger. Well, I'm dead, because... Oh my god, the takedowns take far too long. You shouldn't see me now. Because I've reset his memory. I really... Alright, this is going to be a tough one. This is a run and a half. Really? See what I mean? They spawn everywhere. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Oh my god, this is difficult. Oh my god, if you guys have played this game mode before on Watch Dogs 1, you'll know how annoying and pathetically difficult this is. It's extraordinarily difficult. I almost bought that one then. There we go, right. So when I get max ammo uh, from, let's say, one of the boxes, but they don't, they're not on your map. You have to go near them for them to be in your field of view. So closest one, that's probably going to be like 100 meters away. 199, okay. More or less 200 meters away, that's going to be quite difficult. Being as my stoppage is literally just down there. Get in the car, Jesus. Oh, that's so annoying sometimes. So yeah, my stoppage right here is here. I can't go further than this. Which is difficult and annoying. Why is my gun not out? See, the little things that this game has is annoying sometimes. That was super quick of him to see me. They, they get way faster. Um, I've noticed that. Really? You're going to put it right there, but you're going to put so many on this side of the pavement? Really? Put them on that side, for Christ's sake. Where I'm not there. Now, this one's relatively simple, because it's closer. The ones that are further away are difficult. There's one that's going to be at least 400 meters away, and I have to go all on foot. So it's going to get way more annoying and faster. Okay, so now... Oh, I don't know. I don't really use my lethal weapons yet. But I will have to use these. So EMP is now going to be worthful. Worthful? I don't know. Worth it, I guess. Alright, there's a bag on my map right there. And it's in my field of view. So I can get to it without crossing one of those areas, I think. I'm not too sure. Should be right around this corner. Yeah, right there, right. So it should give me 30 ammo if I'm correct. It did not give me 30 ammo. Okay. Oh, yeah, because the AMP, uh, AMP, I keep saying AMP. EMP is way different. That ammo is way trickier to get than any other ammo. So this now is max. So it's 85, as you can see. It's 20 out of 85. So that was 60 before. So it. Yeah, I was wrong, it does go up a little bit. EMP, however, you have to take down people at least 30 times to get all 30 ammo. Which is very annoying. Considering this is 200 meters away, so I'm going to get a car. Damn, this is difficult. Favourite game mode, but it's like, it's so difficult to do. It's pathetically difficult, it's insane. Oh my god, see, they surround you and they're, oh my god. Why would you have any reason to go where I am right now? What are the chances of you going in my direction straight away? Okay, he deserved that. It is just over here, but, oh, I pressed the wrong one. I thought I was playing Watch Dogs 2, where you have to hold the trigger. The right trigger, which is sprint on this, and not uh, parkour. I almost messed that up. I did mess that up. Damn it! Oh, this game, this game mode. 
So I have nine ammo already. Oh my god, they're so fast. Just die, thank you. Do you want to die as well? Thank you. Okay, let's try this one more time. Okay. So like I said guys, just to double check that you guys understood. As soon as I finish this entire game mode alone, I'll get this outfit. And as soon as I get this outfit, I will then restart this game mode and do a permadeath series on this. So if I die instantly, that is it. It won't matter because I've got everything, I've got all the beneficial things out of this game mode. Such as the outfit and that's about it. But this outfit is plain black and you look, you look like a ninja, which is so cool. So, yeah. Why, why did he... Really? Oh my god. Wow. They're super aggressive on the reset. Oh, really? But you're not both going to come outside. Thank you. Bye now. Oh god, it's just over there. I can see the beacon flash, but oh my god. This is so annoying to do. 35,000 game points, though. Almost 36,000. I think you get 250 every time you get one. Oh, that would be dangerous to go around there. Be dangerous to go anywhere at this point. Oh god, do I make a run? I will make a run. Come on. Ah, stop. Oh my god, the aim with this pistol is so crap. I can't use Desert Eagles. They're terrible pistols. They are terrible. Here we go. Nice. Another skill point done. Okay. Skill tree. So yeah, I'm going to get a grenade now as well. Level that out. So now I have two EMP things. I have grenades, which just throw on the floor there. Which I did, but I can pick them up. I can't pick them up. Well, that was a waste of what? Why can't you pick them up? That's so dumb. Oh, God, sometimes. Okay. Should be the last one I do now. This is going to be a tricky one. Have you seen how far that is? That's at least 300 meters away. 100 meters would be here, 200 would be here, and then 300 would be there. How many? Oh, yeah. 283 meters, so almost 300. I was relatively correct there. So, like I said, I'm not... I'm not too bad, but I'm definitely a pro of knowing what's what in this. But dodging and takedowns, not the best, I'd say. I'm going to go first person for this, because you can do that, which is cool. Which I should have been doing this whole time. But the first person doesn't... Ooh, okay, I'm, I'm dead. Yeah, the car's just shut down, and you can't use the handbrake or brake at all as soon as it goes in the area. So, basically, just the battery dies, basically. Everything just goes to kaput, basically. It doesn't work after that. And you can't get it back unless you clear that district once again. Are you going to come in this area? Oh. <laughs> okay, your friend just died then. That was funny. Come on. Thank you. And goodbye. Try this again. Last one. If I fail, then I fail. But... I'm not too bothered about dying in this series. Once I've finished it, like I said, I'll do a permadeath series. That'll be fun to do. Oh, really? Then I go around here and I can't because then I have to go around you and then I can't go around you because there's five of them. Oh, fine. So I'm going to have to do it then. I can't. Bye. This is how I'm doing it. I have two left. I have to use them wisely. I'm just going to run. See that? Oh my god, they're fast as hell. Yet they're still tagging me from... Right, wait. Okay. <sighs> well, that was alone. Hence the name, alone. Okay. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. That was alone. Quite annoying. Quite good. I enjoyed that. I got quite a lot done there. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. So please like, subscribe, comment down below. And follow me at mystery underscore king908 on my Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next video of Watch Dogs. Not two, but one. Hopefully I can get Watch Dogs 2. Because I'd love to do a series on that as well. But anyway, that is it from me today guys. So thank you and goodbye.